channel my name is Jade and ho hold up before we dive into this video I think we need to take a moment and appreciate anyone who does photography on Instagram who does modeling on Instagram all our followers and people who like our photos just don't see the amount of effort that's why Today, you guys know I post a lot of content on Instagram. I have a pretty good following of loyal people that I would like to share content with. But you know what? We're gonna just expose the real truth, what it took to get the photos. Because there's so many times where I felt like I was gonna die. There's so many times where I felt like Face 2 needed to help me out, girl. Um, and I just wanna be honest, transparent, and show all that in today's video. If you're new to this channel, I'm a 17 year old entrepreneur, you know, quite a busy gal, so I don't have that much time. It's actually currently 12.45 p.m. My photographer, Damien's coming over at 1 p.m. to get the shots done, but as you can see, I'm literally wearing biker shorts, a top, I don't have any makeup or hair done, so let's go. Don't curl the back of your head. Why? Because that's way too much energy, okay? When you take a photo, you're only like gonna see this part. So I actually, little secret, I actually don't ever curl the back of my hair. I just, go to, <laughs> to save time, I just curl the front pieces. I don't know if anyone does that. People think I'm crazy, but it just helps when you're chronically late to about everything in life. <laughs> Fuck, my photographer's here. Gotta go. Are you kidding? I, I literally look like this and I have to go in public. I'm currently blending my foundation as we speak. Oh my god, I'm so problematic and late. Guys, so I got ready. I'm here with Damien. So yeah, tell us a little about your work. Well, I'm a photographer based in OC and I do a lot of portrait work with models. So I do I do a lot of movement stuff, colors. Colors. So I don't like people standing just still. It's a lot of movement, hand motions. What's your equipment? What's your gear? Just for people oh, who are I curious. Have, um, Canon ADD with it. a 50 millimeter on it right now. Love it. And a kit lens in my backpack. Awesome. So I'm gonna actually link his Instagram below. Check him out. He, so, okay, but before we do, important thing we're gonna postmate some shake shack okay listen before we can even properly take a photo shoot you gotta fill yourself with the right food so we're about to do just that whoa okay wow. no, but like actually do you see every frame is something different so this way, I don't know how I learned this, but I think it's just important that to have a lot of options because if you guys don't feel comfortable looking at yourself, it's probably because you haven't found the right angles yet, you know what I mean? So our Postmates is here. We got Shake Shack, of course. Uh, you got a burger. I got fries and a grilled cheese. So this is actually Damien's first time trying Shake Shack. Honest reviews, like honest. It was tiny. <laughs> hey guys, so we're on to location two. We're going to downtown LA, uh, the Walt Disney Concert Hall, and just cool artsy places. So this is my outfit, by the way. These shorts are thrifted. This shirt is not even mine. And this belt's like $10, so. Just a help with tip. You can thrift things. You don't have to be on a lavish budget to look great. Um, but this is my outfit choices. I like to bring two to three outfits when I do shoots because you need to make people think that you've been on multiple shoots in one day, right, Damien? Mm -hmm. like, you gotta trick people in thinking that you actually have a photographer following you all the way. I have a sweater I like to bring, and I always, always have a second option. So if there's a location with a really chaotic background, you can mix it up. So we're gonna head off to. The I won't let you down. Okay guys, we're at the second location. And my next tip for you guys is always, with the first tip of like always moving, you actually want to start maybe doing full body and to take like hair motions and to actually incorporate a lot of, you know, other attributes of your face and body together. Here's what not to do. Oh. Okay, what do I do? What do I do? Oh. Just like this, just like this. Yeah. yeah. Okay, <laughs> now I want to show you guys how to do it right. So this is what I would do. Pro tip, everyone. Number three. What is this? If there's a lot of people in the background, exhibit A, what we're trying to do is kind of find angles where there's less people, and if there is someone there, you can just Photoshop it out, or uh, you can tilt the camera upwards so there's like less people yeah. loathing, so or- it's just their hot body up. Yeah, so that'll be easier. So we're gonna try to do that because there's like unfortunately less people everywhere. So let's see if it works. let down your walls. As a photographer, like, we post, like, a lot because yeah. we have to uh, express, like, we have to show our stuff. So, how would you get more people to see your stuff? As a photographer? Yeah. Do you do portraits? Yeah. 
and do you work with like other influencers? Yes. I think you have to understand what you can do if you want to get noticed. Obviously, the end goal as a photographer is to reach more people and obviously also reach more influencers. So what I would do is once you work with someone, um, maybe you work with Shane Dawson. After you take a photo of Shane Dawson, you guys both post it on each. The key word is you have to post each other's work and then do this because then people see that, oh, there's connection. So do you ever go on Instagram and sometimes you'll see like on the thing, it's like this person's followed by. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really cool when once you work with someone and you post the photos and people have the social proof of like, oh, Shane Dawson follows Damien. I'm going to follow him. So there's one connection. You have to build social proof. The second way is actually taking that photo and what you can do is take a slideshow of all the influencers you work with, like boom, 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 make a little recap ad. Like you were, we were shooting videos. So make a little slow-mo video and put it as an Instagram story ad and say swipe up to check my account. And this way you're actually targeting people that are followers of maybe Shane Dawson. Okay, guys, we're at our third. Why do I do this? We're at our third location. Straight up tell them, oh, can you follow me on like Instagram or like whatever platform you're using? So there's a difference between being followed and being important. If you went to the bank right now, Damien, and you said, hey, these are my followers, and you deposited to the bank, you would get absolute dog shit, right? What's more important is not about being followed, it's about being important to someone. So instead of asking people to follow you, why don't you change it and be like, how can I help this person? How can I bring them value? It's all about being relevant to the person. So I'm in this bathroom at Earth Cafe. I changed into my next outfit because I could just take shots up and above and like be comfortable and also it's just really my style like again it's all about being comfortable with yourself Location number four I put on this red sweater to help with backgrounds that are plain because then you can pop more We're back and we just filmed a lot. So yeah, I just want to recap this video and let you guys know. Throughout this time, like we were trying to figure out the shots. Sometimes we don't know what worked. Uh, essentially, sometimes the lighting wasn't great and we were working with what we had. And I want you guys to realize that you don't have to have the best resources. Mm -hmm. You just need to be resourceful. Yeah. Like I only took three things for the photo shoot. We had to figure out locations. And I think what you guys realize it's intimidating to go on photo shoots with a photographer or maybe something that's like uncomfortable right but make sure you just be yourself use the things you have you don't need a nice camera um and actually we we're talking about like you only took shots with the 50 millimeter when we needed it but like you also use the kit lens yeah too, the kit right? lens we're filming on the kit lens right now like, right and now. it's like you don't have to have the best lens you need to have the skills to like choose your location right to choose your different outfits right to have her stand in the way you want to have her stand or he whoever the model is yeah and um, I think you guys should also realize, which is maybe the reason why you are here, but I wanted to, like, to explain like how we met and how you guys can meet <laughs> other creators because I think you can always use self-timer, you can always use the iPhone, you know, but I think it's really cool to go out of your comfort zone, not only to meet a photographer, but to connect with people and like kind of create a community out of it. So I want to explain, so basically what I did to find a lot of the people I work with, this is actually, I'm exposing how I did this. <laughs> the first time I found him was through my friend, Emily Dow, put her right here, and she had a, she has an amazing feed, and I was like, who takes your pictures? And I saw a shoot tag, and it was you. But I never really, like, started a convo until I actually went on, like, a hashtag Orange County or something with, mm -hmm. like, uh, LA, because right now we're, we're in California. And I think I just tried to find a photographer in locally. And I think you were one of the top hashtags. And I also saw you with Emily. So I was already familiar for who you are. I sent a DM. Sometimes you don't need to necessarily like book a photographer right now, but just make connections beforehand. So maybe when you need photos, you can say like, hey, I know Damien, like I know someone. Yeah, we planned this exactly yeah. one month ago. Yeah. October, uh, not October, August 2nd. <laughs> August 2nd, we planned this day. Yeah, so I guess the moral of the story is always expand your network and you don't necessarily need to do it immediately. Just start to build a slowly build a connection. And same with you, how did you get your first client, essentially? Posting, DMing, emailing, just emailing. like... Yeah, I emailed. Emailing? People. Yes, I emailed. I guess if you guys want to see more videos about how to work with a photographer online, how to DM people, make sure you comment below right now because I think I wanted to just 
I think you had a question about how to expand mm -hmm. your clientele in like more of a business sense, right? Like this is fun, but how do you expand it into like a brand? So let us know if you want to see more of that. If you're a photographer as well, comment below a question you had because I think we're all trying to grow together. So I'm going to close up this video. Like this video, subscribe, and check out Damien at Damien Din on Instagram Neat. and YouTube, right? Yeah. Yes, we have actually a vlog on his channel. Go check it out. I'm here to support you, bro. High five. Woo! Okay, catch you guys in the next one. Oh, shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. Shout out to the comment winner. Com okay. right. If you want to be the next comment winner, just comment below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Also, follow me on Instagram, check out the photos we got because they were really good. Bye! <laughs>